Hey, so what's going on guys? And today I'm going to be talking to you about my expectations, thoughts and ideas about character customization in Call of Duty Ghosts. If you remember from the behind the scenes Ghost trailer, there was the mention of character customization being in the Ghost multiplayer. They didn't go into much detail about what we can expect, however we can have some ideas about it. Another new feature is character customization. You can choose the heads, you can choose the bodies, you can choose the helmet and gear that you're wearing. You can connect with who you are as a player more so than we've ever done in the past. So we can choose the helmet, the body and the gear that we want our character to wear and we can also choose the hazmat costume. Now usually in multiplayer we have about four different types of team, you know, the SAS, the Spetsnaz, whatever whatever it's going to be in Call of Duty Ghost, there's usually about four different teams. So obviously each team needs to look different. So my guess is that you'll have a, a default look about your character, maybe a default colour scheme, which I'll go on to later in the video, but a default colour scheme which then you then keep but you can change what your character looks like but you have to stay similar to the rest of your team. If we look in the multiplayer sneak peek video which I'm going to pause it on you can see different teams of the multiplayer so basically you have one which is in sort of camouflage some which are in sort of SAS sort of gear so obviously these are probably two different teams and you can customize each character for each different team that's my assumption. Now there are two ways I'm going to be demonstrating character customization we have Call of Duty Online thanks to iPonet Zombies for the video gameplay of COD Online because it's only available in China so it's very hard to get gameplay of which shows the character customization of that which does go into quite a bit of detail however I don't see that much detail being put into console but who knows and my second example is Rainbow Six Vegas 2 if you've ever played that then that has some brilliant character customization which I'm briefly going to go over towards the end of the video. So with COD Online if you look at the bottom of the screen he has two teams to select from the Russian the Spetsnaz and the other one which I really can't remember what it's called but as you can see at the moment he's customizing his Russian player and later on in the video he does actually then switch to the SAS I'm just going to call it and customize that one. So obviously we're going to be able to customize every character for each type of team in multiplayer. As you can see, you can customise everything, your helmet, your body armour, your gloves, your legs, and this is the sort of customisation which we can probably expect in Call of Duty Ghosts. However, we don't know, we can only speculate how you unlock this gear. Maybe it's some challenges, so maybe if you do a really hard challenge, like the nuclear title, the nuked out title, etc. in Black Ops 2, you might get some really awesome gear which not a lot of people will have. And then you can use that to show off to other players that you've done these challenges. That's something I'd like to see. Or maybe we'll have like a point system similar to COD points but not quite. Maybe every few ranks you can then unlock something. Maybe similar to Black Ops 2 again. If you prestige you get more unlocks and stuff like that. But who knows, we can only wait until more information. But it's really good to finally see character customization being brought into Call of Duty. People have wanted it for a very long time and it's good to see it finally being brought in. Hopefully it will be good, hopefully that they put a lot of effort into it, not that it's just going to be maybe a handful of helmets, a handful of body armours and you're just going to run into people using the exact same thing. That's why I'd like to see challenges which get you some awesome looking gear. Do you guys like the sound of having challenges to get you some good looking gear to make you stand out from everyone else in the game? Just leave your comment down below what you want to see from character customization, how you want them to be unlocked. Now moving on briefly to my second example is going to be Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Now obviously in Rainbow Six Vegas 2 there's not more than one team so I'm going to demonstrate it with different colour schemes. Starting off with just all black, the sort of the SAS, the sort of SWAT style looking. And it's just an example that you can be able to change all your stuff but it has to remain in the same colour. So same black colour, you can change the helmet and all that but you still have to look like the rest of your team. And then for your other teams, you'll be able to change it so you're still looking similar to your team, but you can change it, mix it up, maybe go for a different style. Now there's one thing which Rainbow Six Vegas does that, depending on what you wear, affects your character. So if you put on some really protective armour which you know gives you more health, then you're going to be slower moving. And I don't know if we can expect this in Call of Duty Ghosts having armour and equipment affect your player, so maybe you'd rather not have that much armour so you can be faster, more agile, more lightweight. But then again, this could also overtake perks. Imagine having the hazmat suit to protect you from flashbangs, to protect you from smoke grenades and stuff like that. But then you could also have maybe the ghillie suit to protect you from UAVs or possibly even, as I said before, flak jacket, a big body armor to protect you from grenades and explosives, lightweight, obviously stuff like that. So we may see the character customization affect you and take place of perks. This is just still a speculation, it may or may not happen, they probably will keep perks in the game, but I'm just throwing my ideas out there. 
Anyway, I'm just showing you my ideas, thoughts and speculations about character customization in Call of Duty Ghosts. If you have any ideas of your own, then just leave them down below and share your thoughts and ideas about character customization and what you'd like to see. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you are new to my channel, then you can subscribe. However, that's it for now, but I'll see you all next time.